Hello everyone, I'm back and today I'm here to maximize your fear. So far, 2024 has been a year filled with many strange things caught on trail cams. From weird unidentified creatures to killers and to many other unexplainable phenomena. So today I decided to highlight some of the most chilling and downright horrifying creatures caught on trail cameras this year. So grab your Maximum Fear coffee mugs and allow your fear to be maximized as we recap the scariest trail camera clips of 2024. Mega Compilation The following video was released to the public at the beginning of the year. A camping enthusiast has a campsite set up deep within the woods on his property. And it still remains unknown what state this encounter came from, but he lives somewhere in the northern US. He has a trail camera installed on a tree at the site to keep an eye on the area while he's gone. Every once in a while, he goes out to retrieve the trail cam to check the footage. Most of the time, it wouldn't pick anything up. But occasionally, a curious deer or some other wildlife would be captured. But this time, he captured something that would not only shock him, but it would shock the entire world. Seen is a gigantic, dark Sasquatch looking creature. It's seen dropping a huge tree branch right onto his tent. Zooming in, it's covered in long dark hair, the shoulders are broad, and the head is massive, definitely larger than a human's. Comparing this Bigfoot like creature to the tent, this thing completely towers over it. The average one to two person camping tent is about four to five feet tall, and that looks to be about the height of the tent here. So that would mean that the being is around eight to nine feet tall. And it's hypothesized that this clip is so short because the trail camera ran out of storage and stopped recording, or because it's the type of trail camera that only takes a video for a few seconds after the motion is detected. But anyways, this is some seriously captivating footage. And why was this creature so angry? Maybe the campsite was inadvertently set up on the Bigfoot's territory? The man has since relocated his campsite to a new area in the woods, in hopes of never running into this creature ever again. The following mysterious photos were just uploaded to Reddit on February 4th, 2024 and viewers are puzzled. The photos come from Reddit with the caption, A friend that lives in England found this in their garden. Here's the first photo. What looks like a very small humanoid creature is seen lying sideways in the grass. However, people quickly chalk this up to being a hoax, stating that the being is nothing but a crazy looking root or plant of some sort. But take a look at the second picture. Now we really get a good look. From the front angle, we can see it has an elongated skull with eyes and a nose, and even a mouth. Looking even further, we can see the being has, well, let's just say a chest. And it also seems to have two long, scrawny arms and four legs or three legs and a tail or something. Online viewers began to quickly speculate that this was the corpse of an alien. I mean, how could a root or plant possibly have a face and body like this? However, this is still an ongoing debate and investigation considering the photos were just released the other day, so it hasn't been confirmed real or fake yet. And for some reason, the original posters on Reddit completely deactivated and deleted their account, causing much more mystery. I'll definitely follow up on this clip in the near future when more information is released. On January 22nd, 2024, a farmer would have an absolutely terrifying experience late one night. The caption reads, Farmer terrorized by something huge in her cornfield. Take a look. She's obviously spooked as something absolutely massive is charging through the corn stalks right towards her. It gets closer and closer until finally the corn stalks on the edge begin moving as if something is right there. But it sounds real far.
This is obviously terrifying enough, being hunted in the dead of night by an unseen presence hiding within the crops. However, the woman later realized she not only captured the crops moving, but she also caught an unidentified life form at the edge of the crops earlier on in the footage. As we can see, an otherworldly shadow is seen. We can see a very tall, gray-skinned being. We can see it has a roundish face with glowing eyes, and it's just peering around the corn stalks. The woman states that the corn stalks are 8 foot tall plus, meaning this shadowy being caught here has to be at least 8 feet tall. Commenters speculated that this was a skinwalker, an evil shape-shifting presence that tries to mimic humans and wildlife in an attempt to cause harm to humans. And you can tell the farmer is genuinely horrified and her reaction seems very real, making people believe even more. But others have absolutely no idea what to make of this strange encounter. Taking a look at a trail cam photo uploaded to TikTok on December 12th, 2023. It was uploaded by a user named Olivia Twist Mysteries. Here's the photo that was allegedly snapped by the heat and motion activated trail cam. Initially, it looks like a wolf or coyote, but something seems off. Starting with the face of the creature, the mouth looks really human-like, with big white teeth protruding. Canine's teeth are sharp and pointy, not straight and dull like this. And its nose and eyes almost appear human-like as well. And just look at its front paws. They're not even paws. They're hands with long fingers and fingernails. They look just like human hands. Because of the human-like traits, online users discussed werewolves and chupacabras. Werewolves are half-human, half-wolf mythical creatures that can supposedly switch back and forth from human to animal, whereas chupacabras are legendary cryptid creatures that hail from Mexico. They are supposedly scary demonic dog-looking beings that terrorize humans by feeding upon their livestock. So what do you guys think? Did this trail cam potentially capture a chupacabra or perhaps even a werewolf? Let me know what you think in the comments. The following is a Bigfoot sighting taken by a lone hiker. He was out for a hike in the vast wilderness of the woods, just overall enjoying nature and losing track of time. And he eventually reached a certain area where he was completely surrounded by pine trees. These pine trees were very thick and it was hard for him to see through them to the other side. But suddenly he heard something massive making its way through the other side of the dense trees. He got his phone out and began recording because he thought it was going to be a big animal or something, but instead he caught something much more dark and disturbing. Sorry. An absolute behemoth bipedal creature walks past. Some immediately pointed out that it was Bigfoot. But this creature here looks a little different than the traditional Bigfoot. Its arms reach all the way down to its feet, as we can see here. And it's significantly thinner and more hunched over. And this disturbing creature has to be at least 10 feet tall. So what's your theory? Now this video clip here taken in the deep woods is downright chilling. A man was walking the woods all alone at night. He walks along and shines his flashlight until suddenly he runs into something straight out of a horror movie. This is when he quickly pulls out his phone and records this video. About 20 yards in front of him is some glowing eyed creature. Its eyes are bright red and its body is dark. It almost looks like a shadow. And we can see it moving its hands around and doing some sort of strange gesture. Now I'm gonna show the clip again, but this time I up the exposure and the brightness all the way. Take a look.
What could this thing be? It's unclear, but whatever it is, it sure looks demonic. On January 7th, 2024, some intriguing but disturbing footage would emerge. It comes from the owner of a remote property in Massachusetts. She has a trail camera installed near the backyard of her home to keep an eye on the area. She's always on the lookout for criminals or even wild animals defacing her property. But on this late night, her camera picked up something she can't explain. Here's the clip. At first, we see a person standing on the property. We can see their footprints in the snow. But then suddenly, it hunches over and only seconds later, it's a wolf or some sort of canine crawling away. Did this camera just capture a man shapeshifting into a dog? You can see here first, it was clearly a person standing there. But then here, it's a dog. How can you explain this? The homeowner had absolutely no clue and that's why she took to social media. Commenters quickly tried to come up with theories, the main one being a skinwalker. As I said earlier, skinwalkers are malevolent shape-shifting spirits. So did we just witness a skinwalker changing forms? Skeptics tried to debunk the footage by saying that it's too blurry to see what exactly is going on. And also that it could maybe just be a glitch in the camera. But others are adamant that the story is much more dark than we could imagine. Starting the video off with some of the best footage of Bigfoot ever. A trail cam was set up deep within the Canadian wilderness on a hunting blind. The camera's goal was to obviously catch some game and wildlife. But the wildlife that was caught was much more wild than anyone could have ever imagined. The hunter was shocked when he reviewed his trail cam footage and saw this massive creature. The huge creature was angry, breaking branches and even throwing branches at the trail cam. And then it slowly walks away back into the woods from whence it came. It's assumed this alleged Sasquatch was enraged by the hunting blind that was set up in its territory, and that's why it was behaving this way. And the footage is rather clear, making it much harder to debunk. Skeptics discussed whether it could just be a man in a costume. However, believers brought up the immense strength and power this being has as a rebuttal, and also the crazy height and width. Some experts estimate the height at around 7 feet tall, and they state that it appears much wider than a human, evidence that makes many lean towards their side. Considering all of this, which side do you lean towards? Could this somehow be an elaborate hoax? Or is this real footage of the infamous Bigfoot? The following trail cam photo is bone chilling. A man who has a trail camera somewhere in the Appalachian Mountains snapped this photo very late one night. His trail cam in particular is one of the picture taking trail cams. It snaps photos when motion and heat are detected. Here is his photo. Someone or something with pale skin and dark eyes is seen. When looking at the photo, one of the first things we notice is that the eyes are distinctly human-like. But everything else tells us it's not human. The skin around the eyes is dark, and the rest of the skin looks pale and scarred. It has eyebrow ridges, but no eyebrows appear to be there. This obviously can't be a normal animal like a monkey or something like that. So if it's not a human and not an animal, then what is it? Some think it's some sort of unidentified creature that roams in the depths of the woods. Others have no clue. The following trail cam footage is some of the most compelling I've ever seen. In order to really understand, you must know how the trail cam works. Like most, this camera begins recording when two criteria are met, heat and motion. The heat in order to trigger the sensor has to be body heat from a living thing. This being said, in this footage here, the raccoon in the foreground is actually what made this camera begin recording. But in the background, a huge creature lurks.
The creature in the background would have been too far away to trigger the sensor in this camera. So if it weren't for this innocent raccoon, we never would have seen this footage. But seriously, what are the odds this raccoon triggered the camera just in time to see this creature in the back? This is something that cannot be staged, considering that a wild raccoon cannot be a paid actor. So it appears this raccoon exposed the being's hiding spot. Also making this even more believable is the size of it. The ground gradually slopes down behind this raccoon, leading us to believe that the height of this thing has to be crazy. Some estimate even 10 feet. And also looking closer, the shoulder is huge and defined, showing us that it's a real shoulder and most likely could not be a costume of some sort. And obviously, most suspect it's Bigfoot. Now I know we can only see a small portion of the being, but the raccoon setting the camera off and all of that information is what really makes it seem real to me. Also, the trail cam owner stated that he felt really uncomfortable when reviewing the footage, and he was genuinely freaked out. Taking a look at a mysterious ring doorbell photo that was uploaded on February 13th, 2024. According to TikTok user UFO God, the original poster of the photo wishes to remain anonymous for privacy reasons. However, they publicly stated that they think the creature is some sort of small extraterrestrial being. Here's the photo. The creature looks strange and otherworldly. It's very small and skinny, and its eyes are unnaturally huge. They practically take up the whole head of the being. It also appears to have human-like teeth. They look dull and molar-like, unlike a cat's teeth. Also, looking further down, it has very long fingers, with only four on each hand. Skeptics thought it could be a hairless cat or something, but it would have to be heavily mutated if it's a cat. I mean, it doesn't even have ears. It's definitely very, very strange. Whatever it is, maybe it got into all those what look like beer cans in the background and that's why it looks so messed up. No, but in all seriousness, this is a very weird capture. So let me know what you guys think it is in the comments. Here is some footage taken in the Appalachian Mountains again. A man was on a hike through a rather rural park in the evening. He was just enjoying his time and walking around on the path as usual. But the sun began to set, so he made his trek back to his car. He walked the dark path with his flashlight being the only thing providing him light. This is when we see a dark figure bolt across the path. The dark shadow comes from the right side of the woods and then sprints to the left side. Upping the exposure, we can get a better look. The shadowy figure seems to be translucent, which means we can partially see through it, so it's obviously not a human. Upon seeing this, the man quickly retreated from his nighttime hike and left. Judging by the darkness of the ghostly apparition, people hypothesize that it was a demonic spirit. Because according to some, a dark spirit means a malevolent spirit and a lighter colored spirit means a better spirit. Some dive even deeper and suspect that someone died in the area and now their spirit remains here and it haunts the land. But whatever theory is correct, it's still chilling. The following ghostly video was uploaded to the internet with little context. It was taken on December 29th, 2020, but hasn't been seen by many. It was taken by a surveillance camera that monitors a remote property surrounded by woods. Take a look. The camera mounted near the front driveway of the home shows an unidentified entity floating past. It appears to be some sort of cloaked figure. It's light in color and its cloak or robe seems to be long at the feet and head. You can also see it starts out skinnier and smaller but somehow grows and gets larger as it flies past. And it flies past rather quickly. It's unknown where exactly this was captured and the homeowners never gave their input, leaving us with very many unanswered questions. 
Could this be a ghostly spirit or perhaps even a skinwalker that haunts the remote land? If you don't already know, a skinwalker is an evil witch spirit that resides on cursed land. It can shapeshift and pose as animals and humans. So could this property be atop cursed land and that's why all this is happening? It looks like it will forever remain a disturbing mystery. A man was out doing some bow hunting in the wilderness. He was the only one out there and he was far from civilization. And that's what makes this encounter much more intense. But so far the hunt was going normal. He was just walking around and enjoying being out in the wilderness like this. Until suddenly a huge predator is spotted on the path ahead. It's a giant black bear. The man freezes and stays in place, hoping for the bear to just walk past without issue. But suddenly, his worst nightmare came true. The bear rushes in and attacks the man, knocking him backwards onto the ground. But luckily, after a quick scuffle, the bear runs away from the fight. The man picks his camera back up and he's unharmed. And he talks to the camera like this was just a normal, everyday occurrence. I should have shot him a long time ago. Don't scare me, that guy. But anyways, it seemed the man accidentally spooked the bear, and the bear acted on instinct and immediately jumped on the man thinking he was a threat. And it's unknown why exactly the bear stopped attacking him, as most of the time this doesn't happen. This man was extremely lucky. If the bear would have continued attacking him, he probably wouldn't have lived on to post this footage. Bears are extremely dangerous and ferocious creatures, and you never know how they're going to act. This is why you must stay as far away from them as possible. The following video was highlighted right at the beginning of the year by YouTube channel History, but it was originally taken at around midnight on August 27th, 2017 in a small neighborhood in Youngstown, Ohio. A homeowner has a security camera mounted on the front of her home facing the driveway. She has the motion-activated camera to protect her house from criminals, but she never expected to capture this. Looking closer, an odd, bird-like creature runs past quickly. And the video clip is quick, but quick enough to get a good look. History enhances the creature's features. We can see it has two light-colored legs that are excessively long and skinny. We can also see it has a large white head with a possible beak and a black midsection that experts say is feathers. The homeowner claims she had encounters with this being before capturing it on her camera. She said it was running around like a human and making strange, otherworldly clicking noises. She also claims to have found what looked like large piles of bird droppings scattered around her yard. Field researcher Ken Gerhard estimates that the strange creature is about 3 to 5 feet tall, and that in the video it travels approximately 15 feet in only 2 seconds, which is remarkably fast. Some think that it could just be a big bird like a wild turkey or an ostrich or something, but it looks far too skinny and as I studied the footage, I made a discovery that tells us that it's impossible to be some sort of bird species. Ostriches and emus legs bend inwards. This creature's bends forwards and it appears to have knees. Also it's hunched over and it walks similarly to a human. Reading into ancient Native American lore, there's an ancient artifact dubbed the Cahokia Birdman. This sandstone tablet shows a carving made by the Mississippian people who lived in the city of Cahokia, which is now present-day Illinois. It was discovered in 1971, but it dates back to 1300 AD. It was found on one of the monks' mounds. 
As you can see, the carving shows a portrait of a half-man, half-bird-like creature, and it definitely kind of resembles the one in the video, with the big human head, the wings, and the long legs. The Mississippian people were also very spiritual, so it's believed that this was a spiritual being that they had encounters with. Maybe they were trying to warn us? Considering these Native Americans lived rather near to the area where this sighting happened in 2017, could they possibly be linked? No matter what, considering all of this evidence, this is no known creature of this planet, thus giving it the name the Birdman of Youngstown, Ohio. On February 18th, 2024, some groundbreaking footage would be released. A man was riding his four-wheeler through the woods of Idaho. He rode down the path as usual until suddenly something runs across ahead. Emerging from within the brush is a Sasquatch-like creature. It moves quickly across the path. Slowing the footage down, we can see its dark in coloration, covered in hair. Freezing it here, it has thick arms, broad shoulders, and a big head. All of these features being much larger than a human's. Its features are also rather defined. It appears it was hiding alongside the path until suddenly it was spooked by the rider. Some skeptics state that the alleged Bigfoot runs like a human, but others think its strides are too long, as it easily clears the path in only one stride without even trying. So could this be the infamous Bigfoot? The four-wheeler rider is adamant that it's real and believes that it really was Bigfoot. A group of friends decided to explore an abandoned property and record their experience. They set out in the middle of the night to some old abandoned farmland that they had found while they were exploring previously. The property was reportedly home to a few barns and a few fields. They explored the fields and such until eventually they reached one of the barns. They took a deep breath and went inside. Immediately they knew something was off as they began hearing some otherworldly shrieks coming from deeper within the dark and abandoned barn. They were petrified and didn't know what to do. That's when they eventually looked up into the loft and spotted this. Turn off the lights. Turn off your light. Oh, shoot, go. shoot, shoot! Just get out of the house! Just get back to the house! Just get back to the house! A pale being hides atop the loft. It peeks its unsettling face up just enough for the explorers to see it. It peers at them with its dark, sunken eyes and lets out a guttural growl. This is when they completely panic and frantically run for their lives. It seems the unknown being even began to chase after them as the noises continued to get closer. But luckily, they made it out alive. And luckily, they had their cameras on them or else nobody would have believed them. There are a couple theories with this one. Some thought it was a cryptid called the Rake, the pale humanoid extraterrestrial looking creature that supposedly inhabits dense forests. Others think it could be a skinwalker or potentially even a pigman because of its strange squealing and grunting noises. But anyways, whatever it was, it definitely was not supposed to be seen. The following video comes from Rocky Mountain Sasquatch. It was posted on January 31st, 2024. The video was filmed by a man named John in Salt Lake City, Utah, specifically on the front of one of the high elevation Wasatch Mountain peaks. According to RMS, John captured the footage at approximately 4,200 feet elevation, and the peak where he was zooming in was at 9,000 feet elevation. They looked into a spotting telescope which zoomed in about three miles to the mountain in question, when they saw an out of place life form easily traversing the mountainside.
They put their camera up to the telescope to capture this footage. And that's why it appears so shaky. But with the help of digital stabilization, we can get a better look at the footage. And because they are so far away, it's pretty hard to see. But what makes this so remarkable is the fact that the snow on the mountainside can be up to 90 inches deep. What human can even make it through 90 inches of snow, let alone this easily? It moves super quickly and effortlessly. And no humans were reported to be on that mountain range at the time, adding more mystery. Also, we have to keep in mind that the slope is super steep as well. So how is this creature moving so easily? It must be something extremely strong and agile. Many began to speculate Bigfoot. This is when RMS offered up another piece of footage taken by a local helicopter pilot. And this may prove that it was indeed a Sasquatch. The pilot flew over this exact mountain range right after hearing about this strange encounter. He wanted to make sure that it wasn't a person and needed to investigate further. And this is what he saw. Massive footprints in a straight line are seen going up the mountain. And according to RMS, these supposed Bigfoot tracks actually match up with plenty of other credible Bigfoot tracks. They supposedly oftentimes walk in a straight line like this when they are running or moving quickly, making it even more convincing. So what do you guys think? Are there Bigfoots living along the Wasatch Mountains? Or is this somehow explainable? A man named Stevie Dan would capture some bizarre and unexplainable footage on his Primos trail cam. At first the video seems normal, showing a rabbit in the foreground. But in the background a strange phenomenon occurs. A weird light anomaly appears in the background and the rabbit seems to notice as well. It pops up and moves around and even morphs into different shapes. The trail cam owner and no one else have any idea what could have caused this. Some thought it could be a man shining a flashlight in the woods. However, they would have to be exceptionally tall. Behind the rabbit, the ground slopes down pretty steep. So the man would actually have to be around 10 feet tall to be emitting this light. And if it was a man, we should be able to see him on the trail cam as well. Also, who would be out in the dense remote forest at 3.40 a.m.? This is why people began to think that it could be something supernatural. Maybe a ghost, or perhaps even an alien abduction or something. Definitely a very puzzling piece of video. This video here is horrifying and it comes from Australia. A family was burning a log, but it turns out there was a lot more to this log than they initially thought. Check it out. I burn the legs off. Oh. oh it's not dead. Look at the f***ing size of it. Christ. I don't know. Oh my god. As the log burns, a huge huntsman spider pops out. And then another one. And then another one. And then another one. A whole family of huntsman spiders apparently made this log their home. And when smoke began to saturate their home, they retreated, making for a disturbing sight. Even the human's bug-killing spray has no effect on these spiders. Australia is known for their huge population of spiders and especially huntsman spiders. And their other terrifying animals, of course. But these spiders are also nicknamed wood spiders because they tend to settle and nest in woody areas. And they are indeed venomous, but not enough to harm a human. So despite how horrifying they look, they can't really harm us, so that's a good thing. But it doesn't stop them from being scary. Taking a look at a video that was uploaded to TikTok on February 8th, 2024. A man was inside his home, minding his own business, when suddenly he looked out of his window into his backyard. 
he noticed something huge perched atop his tree. He zooms in closer. It looks horrifying. The man then leaves for about 15 seconds and when he returns, the creature is completely gone like it was never there in the first place. You can tell by the tone in the man's voice that he's scared and puzzled. But I can't make out exactly what he's saying because I don't speak Spanish. But because it's so blurry, we're not exactly able to tell what it is. Some think it's a giant human-sized bat. Others think it's a goblin or a gargoyle or something along those lines. Some even claim that you can see horns on the top of its head if you look closely enough. But I personally have no clue what to make of this footage. And because of the lack of background information, it looks like our questions will never be answered. A landowner installed a trail cam on his rather remote land to keep an eye out for predators that roam by. And they haven't caught much on the camera, besides the occasional raccoon or deer. But what was caught this day was neither a raccoon nor a deer. It was something far more disturbing. A white robed figure moves slowly through the vegetation. The trail cam owners were freaked out. They immediately thought this could be something paranormal or even a crazy dangerous person wandering around on their land. They claim they have never seen anything like this before. Looking closer, we can't see many details on the figure. We can just see that it's covered head to toe in a white robe and the way it walks so slowly is eerie. So is this a paranormal entity? The landowners and others suspect that someone potentially died on the land many years ago, and their spirit still roams. Others think it's someone pulling a prank on the landowner. Maybe someone who came across the trail cam one day while hiking and wanted to scare them so they dressed up and came back in a costume. But others don't think this is the case. The following creepy and mysterious video surfaced on January 29th, 2024, and the sincere reaction of the man filming is what sets this apart from the rest. A man is vlogging himself while running through the forest. It seems innocent enough, until an unknown otherworldly being pops out from behind the bushes and begins chasing after him. The man is running for his life and is obviously not focused on getting a good video of the supposed creature. But I froze the video and took multiple action shots and now we can get a closer look. The fast creature is a grayish white color and its eyes appear black and hollow. Also, zooming in here, it looks like its mouth is open excessively wide. In this last still shot, its body is defined. What could this mysterious being be? Commenters offered up a theory that it's an extraterrestrial, a grey alien to be exact. Grey aliens are supposedly spotted quite often throughout the world. They are said to have crashed onto Earth, and now they roam the depths of the world's forests. But others think this could be a skinwalker or perhaps an undiscovered cryptid, so it still remains a mystery as to which theory could be correct. However, we know it's not from this world, and the man is very lucky to be alive. Now I was doing some research the other day trying to find some clips to feature on my channel, when I came across a very terrifying piece of footage from Instagram user KTS underscore WRBX. In the clip, a group of urban explorers make their way through an abandoned building. They reach the stairs and begin walking up to the second floor. And this is when the footage takes a dark turn. 
My bad. My bad. We're leaving. Suddenly, a grown man's face peers from around the corner. The explorers were shocked, and one of them lets out a scream of terror. Then they immediately walk back down the stairs when the strange man says, I'm going to freak the F out. They stopped recording and quickly ran out of the abandoned building, not looking back. It's unknown what this man was doing in there. He could have been hiding out doing drugs, or maybe something more sinister was going on. Could he have been a potential murderer or a criminal on the loose? Regardless, the man was assumed to be dangerous, especially considering the way he was talking to the videographers. Most people when exploring abandoned and haunted places are mostly worried about the dangers of the supernatural, but the dangers of the natural can be even scarier. So, if you ever go out exploring like this, stay safe and be aware of your surroundings. Because who knows what could be hiding right around the corner. Little context surrounds this video, but it's deeply disturbing. Uploaded to TikTok right at the beginning of the year, this found footage was not supposed to be seen. What looks like an alien species is laying on an exam table, and a doctor begins examining it. Is this simply just a human wearing a very well put together costume? Or is this the real deal? The footage is leaving many puzzled and horrified. Just the eerie look of the alien being is enough to give you nightmares. It has big dark eyes, a sunken nose, and its mouth seems dark. And it seems to be missing a tongue and teeth altogether. Even though this footage is most likely just a skit or something, it's still super unsettling. And it doesn't seem too far-fetched that maybe someday in the future we'll capture one of these alien beings, considering the sudden rise in UFO sightings recently. Taking a look at a video that was taken on the Black Sea in 2023. A group of boaters were out enjoying the nice weather. They sped around in their boat, sightseeing and enjoying the waters, when suddenly they saw two massive creatures swimming directly towards them. This is when they recorded this video. As you can see, two huge, grotesque-looking creatures emerge a couple times quickly and then descend into the depths from which they came. You can hear the oohs and ahs coming from the onlookers, but I don't think they realized at the time what they could have been seeing. Some speculate that they're just manatees or seals of some kind, but something looks off. This is when people began to speculate that these were actually plesiosaurs. The plesiosaur is an extinct marine dinosaur that reportedly lived during the early Jurassic period. Despite their horrifyingly massive size of up to 50 feet long and up to 100,000 pounds, their diet primarily consisted of fish and mollusks. So most likely they wouldn't be harmful to humans, unless we got in their way of course. But obviously these creatures are extinct. But judging by this video here, could there still be some alive today? What do you guys think? This strange video was recorded by a passenger in a plane flying somewhere over China. The passenger was looking out of the window, looking at the clouds and enjoying the relaxing view. But the view became the opposite of relaxing as a strange UFO appears. It keeps up with the plane rather easily. It almost looks as if the strange craft wanted to get a closer look at the airplane. As it flies beside the plane, it shoots off some sort of missile, and then it takes off astonishingly fast and disappears. According to the uploader, the UFO accelerated at an estimated 24,000 miles per hour, and that's physically impossible. 
If this is true, this aircraft must be a craft from another planet. People thought that this flying saucer was a UFO controlled by extraterrestrial beings. And because the footage is so clear and so close up, it makes it all the more compelling, leaving little room for speculation. This video took place in Charlotte, North Carolina on January 19th, 2024. Some guys were driving on the road that takes them into the city when they looked up and saw a strange phenomenon in the sky. Check it out. What? A giant flame is soaring through the sky. It has four smoke trails following, and it seems to have six different sections of fire. What could this be? Some thought it could be a plane that's on fire and plummeting to Earth. But because it's a straight line of fire evenly spread out, it doesn't seem likely. If it were a plane, we would probably be able to see an outline of the plane where the flames are. Others speculated that it's something from space, like a meteor or a comet or something. But no meteor has ever really looked like this. Because of these unanswered questions, people began to lean into the supernatural for a plausible explanation. Perhaps it was a crashing alien spacecraft? And I couldn't find any more additional information as to what it was. So I don't believe it was ever revealed afterwards. However, I'm sure an investigation is in progress to figure out what the heck went on that night in North Carolina. Taking a look at some trail cam footage that's terrifying, but for a different reason. The Voyager's Wolf Project is a group dedicated to bringing us crazy and up-close trail cam footage of wolves in northern Minnesota. They have many trail cameras set up throughout the region, but it looks like they're about to lose one of their trail cameras because of what's happening in the footage here. A pack of wolf pups attack the trail cam. They start off attempting to break the camera straps but are unsuccessful. So they begin biting and gnawing at the camera itself which makes for some insane footage. Their teeth are extremely sharp and they're extremely strong, especially because they travel in packs. But this wolf pack here shown in the footage is dubbed the Whiskey Point Pack. The trail cam owners report that for 7 minutes straight, these three wolves attacked the camera but somehow it withstood the attacks, and it remained standing at the end. This video just surfaced on January 19th, 2024 and it has since been making headlines. A man was on a normal commercial flight, when he looked out of the window and spotted something odd. Not much context was given, like the location and if anybody else saw this strange UFO, but here it is regardless. What makes this footage so groundbreaking and so believable is how clear it is. It's super HD footage, to the point where we can even read the letters on the flying saucer. T-R-U-F-F. Could this be a secret aircraft controlled by the government and this is some sort of acronym code? Or is it an alien spacecraft controlled by extraterrestrials? Either way, the footage looks super real to me. In fact, it might be the clearest footage ever taken of a UFO. And at the end of last year, I discussed how many UFO sightings and videos came throughout 2023. And I asked you guys if you thought these sightings would continue into the new year. And not only have they continued, but they're seeming to get even more crazy. So it looks like my question was answered. But what do you guys think? Could this somehow be a hoax? Let me know. Now this clip here is insanely scary, especially if you don't like spiders. And of course it comes from Australia. Australia is infamous for its dangerous wild animals and creatures. And this is exactly why. Take a look. Above our headline, so unless you're Keel O'Neill, they're not gonna bother you really. A bunch of huge spiders simultaneously sit atop a web near a tree. The man in the video says they're pretty high up, so they're not going to bother you. 
But my question is, what happens if one falls on you while you're walking along the sidewalk below? One of the top comments by TikTok user J1NW0O underscore reads, Sir, the spiders are bothering me and I'm in a different country. I thought this comment was hilarious, but on a more serious note, I believe that the spiders in the video are banana spiders. These are commonly found throughout Australia and other countries as well. They can grow up to a few inches long, but they don't get insanely big like tarantulas. And despite how menacing they look, they're only slightly venomous. Their bites are similarly compared to a bee sting, and their venom is also comparable to how a bee sting feels. So, if bitten by one of these spiders, it still would be rather painful, but not life-threatening. I feel like the adrenaline created from having a massive spider on you would definitely take away from the pain of the bite. And also, speaking of spiders, every summer on the back of my house, we have a few big spiders that hide within the cracks of the siding, and they come out at night. Once summer rolls around, I'll definitely have to take a video for you guys. And maybe we'll even have to feed them, so stay tuned. This eerie video comes from Reddit user WarningNo9188. It comes from a security camera that they have mounted on the back of their house near their back deck. Sadly, the uploader's dog had recently passed away, and it was a rather sad time for them. Grieving the loss of a family pet can be a very difficult time. But what happened a couple nights later made them believe that his spirit may still live on. Two pieces of footage are brought up. One at night and one during the day. Each time, the cart moves all on its own. Seeing or having an encounter with the ghost of a lost pet is a more common phenomenon than you may think. So yes, they speculated that this was the spirit of their dog moving the cart. But because dogs are so special to us and we are so special to them, this is why this phenomenon is believed to happen. Their spirit wants to remain in the place where it felt the most happiness. And I actually have a personal story about something like this. Many years ago, my family and I had a pet cat named Smokey. She was a stray outdoor cat that randomly showed up to our house one day and never left. So we took her in and fed her and kept her as a pet. But she was an outdoor cat and loved to roam around and adventure the neighborhood. But one day my neighbors found her dead up in the field near our home. She had some bite marks around her neck and it looked as if she was attacked by some sort of wild predator. Like a coyote or something. But for some reason besides the bite marks, she didn't really seem to have any other visible wounds. But anyways, right after we found her, we walked back home all sad and then we went inside our house. And as soon as we walked inside, the light in our computer room was flickering on and off repeatedly. It wasn't like the bulb was burning out or something, it was like someone was literally flicking the light switch on and off, but the light switch was right beside us and no one was even close to touching it. And the switch itself was not moving at all. But the flickering never stopped until one of us went over and flicked the light switch up and down, and then this is when it finally stopped. And nothing like this ever happened again. And before this encounter, nothing like that had ever happened to us either. It was a perfectly normal light and we didn't have any electrical problems, so it was just really weird. Now I don't know if it was a coincidence, but all I can say is that it was just really strange. And the fact that it happened right after we found our dead cat in the field made us believe that maybe it was Smokey trying to give us a message. Now this is a super bizarre capture. I've never seen anything like this. This has to be one of the strangest creatures to ever exist on this earth. A deep sea camera spots something interesting looking and then nears closer. It's a fish. It's defensive. Oh, it's in the water column, isn't That's it? That's a fish? What? I don't know. What? Look. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Look at that. Oh That's my wow. goodness. You can hear by the reactions that this is super, super rare. This is apparently a creature called the gulper eel, also known as the pelican eel. The gulper eel can unhinge its jaw to eat way bigger prey, and that's exactly what we're witnessing here. It unhinged its jaw and probably attempted to eat something but missed. But watch what happens next. Oh my god. That's his defense, like let me oh, blow yeah. up so oh, I can show yeah. him how oh big I am. Incredible. Wow. The shake. Oh, it's a oh, 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 
This eel practically deflates and turns back to normal. By the way they look when they're just swimming around, minding their own business, and they're not inflated like that, you would never think that it could open its mouth like that. Just a really crazy and insanely rare moment caught on camera. Something I can say you will probably never see ever again. This video comes from a puzzled dog owner. It was just recently posted to Reddit and has since been spreading throughout the internet. Their dog is named Shiloh, and one night he went outside to use the bathroom when one of their security cameras caught something jaw-dropping. As he made his way back to the patio to get let inside, he seems to be on high alert. He's intently looking at something. And then suddenly his tension released and he begins jumping around seemingly playing with an unseen presence. But the camera picked up this unseen presence. A light colored shadow floats past. Is this a ghost? It almost seemed like Shiloh was reuniting with an old friend, doesn't it? Well this may be the case. The family believes this could have been the spirit of their other deceased dog named Caden. Judging by the way Shiloh was so happy to play with this shadow, the theory seemed likely. Also the way Shiloh was intently staring off into the distance at first, and then his demeanor completely switches, it really makes it seem like he saw this shadow coming but he didn't recognize it at first and then when it got closer, he realized. So could this be a heartwarming supernatural clip? The rekindling of an old lost friendship? The following trail camera clip has been creeping people out. Uploaded to TikTok by Congo BD on November 23rd, 2023, the footage is odd to say the least. They have a trail camera set up in the woods somewhere, and one night they supposedly caught this. A freakishly huge spider is seen crossing the path. Spiders do not get this big. Even the biggest spider in the world, the Goliath Bird Eater, does not even get close to this big. So how did this camera capture this? Is this some sort of mutant spider that resides in the deep woods? Maybe a species we have yet to discover? Or is it rather an edited video? Many skeptics say the footage looks like it could be CGI or simply special effects. I personally think the footage looks edited. Even if it is, this is still such a scary concept. Thinking that there could be giant four foot long spiders somewhere roaming out there in the depths of the woods. If this was a real creature, just imagine the horror of seeing one of these in person. Let's take a look at a very mysterious creature caught on a trail cam. Once again, not much is known about the origin of the photo. No one knows where exactly it took place and when, but it doesn't stop it from being downright weird. Take a look. The photo shows a small yellowish looking creature standing on a fallen log in the woods. Now at first you may be thinking, oh it's probably just a bird or something, but wait. It appears to have arms. Birds have wings, not arms. So what kind of bird could this be? Could it just be that the sunlight is possibly overexposing and distorting the photo, and that's what gives it this strange appearance? Or is it a potential undiscovered creature? I had to throw this one in the video because I figured it would make a pretty good topic of conversation, considering the mysterious nature and the little background information. This shocking trail cam footage was uploaded to YouTube by the off-grid hunter and it hasn't been seen by many at all. I'll let the video speak for itself. An absolutely huge timber wolf walks through the shot. It seems to be chewing on something. When we look closer, we can conclude that it's a bone of another animal. Just like how pet dogs play with and eat bones, this wolf is doing the same except it's a real bone this time. But this wolf is the definition of an apex predator. From its massive size to its beautiful fur, it's breathtaking but also horrifying. 
Just imagine what would happen if this dangerous beast got a hold of you. The timber wolf can grow up to 7 feet in length from head to tail, and they can also get to just above 40 inches at the shoulder, and they can weigh up to around 200 pounds. And the wolf caught on camera here looks to be one of the bigger ones. But honestly, these wolves just look so badass. I would love to have one as a pet, but it probably wouldn't turn out too well for me. This trail cam video was taken on August 10th, 2021 in Swan Valley, Idaho. Swan Valley is home to many dense forests, making it a perfect place to set up a trail cam. And that's exactly what Swan Valley Connections did here. The video shows a mountain lion coming into the shot. It emits some disturbing noises. Mountain lions are known to make disturbing noises. Oftentimes you can hear them bellowing all the way from outside of the woods. I remember one time in particular I was at my grandma's house and my grandma's house is kind of remote and surrounded by woods and one night we started hearing some absolutely bone chilling noises coming from within the woods. And my parents and grandparents told us that it was just mountain lions playing or taking down prey. It was very creepy sounding and it sounded super otherworldly. But anyways, mountain lions are very dangerous and very predatory as well. And they're not afraid to sneak up on you. This is why you should always be on high alert while in the woods. The combination of known dangerous creatures and unknown dangerous creatures is what makes the woods a truly spooky place. The following horrifying dash cam footage comes from southern Mexico. A man who wishes to remain anonymous was driving down a deserted mountain road out in the complete middle of nowhere. It was very late at night. They should have been the only ones out there, but it turns out they were not alone. Some sort of glowy, fiery figure is seen. A figure which the drivers called the Burning Witch. The strange witch appears suddenly and then after a few seconds completely disappears. Looking closer, it appears this being is wearing a strange robe. And freezing the footage here, we can even see its head is ablaze. This obviously cannot be a human, considering a human would not be able to walk around while engulfed in flames. And they're in the complete middle of nowhere, and it's the middle of the night. The uploaders claim they saw that witch a couple times this night, so they began driving after it and they finally caught it on camera. Online viewers began to speculate that maybe the land or that road in particular was haunted, and it was cursed and is home to evil witch spirits. Others have no clue. The other day I was doing some research trying to find some clips to feature in this video, when it was brought to my attention that something horrifying was going on in that exact moment. In Louisville, Kentucky, there was a multiple car crash that led to a semi-truck dangling off the side of the Clark Memorial 2nd Street Bridge. Here is the horrifying live footage. I mean, the semi is just hanging on by a thread. If it weren't for that one steel beam and the guardrail, the driver would have been doomed. It looks like even just an inch further and they would have plummeted hundreds of feet into the waters below. But take a look at the bravery of the rescue team. They slowly lowered one of the rescuers down to the front of the truck where the driver was where he reached into the truck and safely got the driver out and attached to him. Then they slowly were raised up to safety. The driver was reportedly stuck in the truck just barely hanging on for dear life for over 40 minutes. 
Just imagine being in this position. You're just sitting there trying not to move a muscle because you know any sudden movement could cause you to fall to your death. Even the slightest of movements could have caused the truck to dislodge and plummet into the deep dark rivers below. For 40 minutes straight, that woman had to just sit there knowing that at any moment her life could end. But luckily, she was saved. This is definitely some kind of miracle. The police force even stated, quote, It was incredible that the truck didn't completely fall in. And the woman was okay, but she was obviously shaken up. But they said she seemed to be stable and that she held it together like a champ. Just a completely shocking event that miraculously everyone survived. Now this is some of the most famous footage of Bigfoot ever, and I'm sure some of you have seen it or at least even heard about it. It comes from Lumpkin County, Georgia on May 16th, 2009. A police officer and city worker were traveling a dark road, surrounded by trees and fields. They drove for a while. They were deep in conversation until the police cruiser's dash cam picked this up. The reactions seem very genuine and you can tell they're completely shocked. And keep in mind this clip comes from 2009 when dash cameras were not nearly as high quality as they are now. So the supposed Bigfoot is hard to see. But take a look at the enhanced video. Enhancing the video in different ways gives us multiple looks at this strange creature. Why people believe this is such credible evidence is because it comes from an actual police officer. And the city worker witnessed it as well. And you can even hear the officer say, it was on two feet, wasn't it? Telling us even more that it was something unknown and mysterious. And actually, the officer himself later came out and said that he really believes they encountered Bigfoot that night. And if it wasn't Bigfoot, it was something else unknown. This dashcam footage was taken at Vickers Hill R Mag in Northern Ireland. The video was so scary and so convincing that it made it onto multiple news outlets. A man had his car parked on the side of the brick path when he noticed something out of place. A person in very old attire is seen on the left side of the road. They walk across the road and everything seems relatively normal. That is until it walks entirely through the fence and wall on the other side. The figure dressed in attire from the olden days seems to phase right through the barrier. On the other side of where it disappeared to is a pretty old church called the St. Patrick's Church of Ireland Cathedral. This makes it even more convincing considering it's walking onto the grounds of a spiritual place. Because of all of this, people began to speculate that this was the spirit of someone who lived there long ago. But some skeptics say it's simply an optical illusion, and that there's an unseen entrance right where they pass through but we can't see it from this angle. Could this be the case? It doesn't really look like an optical illusion to me, but I'll let you the viewers be the judge of this one. The following video comes from Cacapava, Sao Paulo in Brazil. A man was driving along the vacant streets very late at night. It was so late that not many cars were driving on the roads at all. His dash cam shows him driving around for a little, until he eventually reaches a red light at a two-way intersection. This is when a small, unknown creature emerges from the darkness. It emerges and runs across the road. It's very, very small and odd looking. Enhancing the footage and taking a closer look, the creature seems pale and it's estimated at a height of around two feet. It's hunched over and it's bipedal. Because it's bipedal, it pretty much rules out the possibility of it being any known animal. 
The driver states that it didn't look human at all, and he says he still doesn't even in the slightest have a clue of what it could have been. This is when commenters began to offer up different theories, the most prominent theory being a goblin. A goblin is a small, grotesque-looking creature that terrorizes everyone and everything in its path. Its goal is to wreak havoc wherever it goes. These creatures may be small, but according to legend, they're also strong and menacing. Others speculate skinwalkers or other supernatural beings. But skeptics suggest the video is simply CGI or edited. But others point out that it has a shadow, which would be very hard to edit in digitally. So it remains unclear. Taking a look at a trail cam video that shows us exactly why nature is so scary. I'll let the footage speak for itself. First, a coyote appears. It runs quickly down the path. At first, it's unknown why it's running, but then we figure out why. A mountain lion is in hot pursuit. Then we hear some yelping noises coming from the darkness. We can only assume the mountain lion began attacking the coyote as it sounds like it's being injured. Because the footage cuts off and we can't exactly see what's going on because they ran out of the camera view, it's unknown that the coyote made an escape. However, it very well could have. These animals are both apex predators and it's very interesting to see them in a battle. Mountain lions are known for using stealth tactics to sneak up on their prey. Tactics that outsmarted the coyote this time. And we the viewers got a front row seat of what it looks like. And also coyotes usually run in packs. So the cat got lucky to catch one outside of its pack. Definitely some very interesting and scary footage that gives us a sneak peek into the dark side of nature. So let me know in the comments who you guys think would win in a battle, a coyote or a mountain lion. Uploaded to TikTok on January 24th, 2024 by Puberty, the footage shows an unexpected encounter. A man was walking along near a small stream when he noticed something that looked slightly out of place under the water, but he couldn't quite see what it was. This is when he put on his polarized glasses and then he could really see it. This is why polarized glasses are a must. Big boy. The caption reads, this is why polarized glasses are so important. And I would have to agree. I mean, you can't even see this huge alligator sitting on the bottom at all until he holds up the polarized glasses to the camera lens, then you can see it clearly. Imagine if someone decided to go for a swim in this stream without looking first. You never really know what lurks in the murky waters below. Even though alligators are so big, they tend to settle in rather small bodies of water, like marshes, swamps, lakes, and rivers. And I've actually seen this firsthand. As every year when my family and I go on vacation, we usually take a trip to the same place and near the place is a small pond on a golf course and it's actually home to multiple alligators. Every time we drive past it we look and sometimes we see large alligators basking on the riverside. And the ones we've seen have to be at least 8 to 10 feet long, they're pretty big. A realtor had something truly eerie happen to her when she was trying to sell a local property. She often films house tours and such and posts them online as a way to market to her potential clients. Usually this goes well, but this house here in particular was a lot different. She films an intro video earlier on in the day showing what the front of the house looks like. This charming three and a half, whoop. Join me on a tour of this charming even from this video, we can tell the house looks a little on the spooky side. However, after filming this intro video, she left the house for a few hours, but came back once it got dark out as requested by some of her clients. They wished to see what the interior lighting of the house looked like in the late hours. She heads to the main room and begins her introduction video. Wow. It's 10 p.m. My day was fully booked with showings of this beautiful
beautiful vintage 1962. She does a couple takes of her intro and all is going rather well. Until while she's filming the next take, something unexplainable happens. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this 1963 bungalow. The door opens all on its own. You can tell the woman is very surprised by this and doesn't know what to think. However, we all missed a crucial detail. As we take a closer look at the photos on the wall, pay attention to what happens to the photo of the man on the left. His face is bright at first, but then it slowly goes dim as the door opens. Then after the door opens, it returns to normal. This makes us wonder, could the ghost of whoever is in the photo be haunting the vacant residence? The woman wasn't made aware of the changing portrait until she watched the footage back, and she was completely freaked out. But right after this incident happened, the woman began to wander around the house and continued filming, because she thought for sure that something paranormal was at play, and she was most certainly right. Go ahead, do it again. I'm not scared. She walks around and says things like, go ahead, do it again, I'm not scared. Until finally, after a while, the smoke detector begins going off all on its own for no reason. And as she makes it back to the main room to grab her stuff and leave, one of the smoke detectors actually falls onto the ground right in front of her. This is when she turns and leaves the property. Not much information afterwards was provided, like if she's still selling the property or not. But if she is, I don't think many would be interested still. Unless, of course, someone is looking to live with an angry and seemingly demonic spirit. And this all goes back to the question, who is the man in the portrait on the wall? Whoever he is, it seems his dangerous spirit still lives among us. This scary video was posted to the internet on October 12th, 2023. The man shown here went to a Lana Del Rey concert. He says that throughout the concert, the vibe was creepy and weird but he states that things really got weird during her last three songs of the night. He says Lana Del Rey's demeanor completely changed. At this point in the night, this is when he began taking a bunch of pictures, but for some reason, all of his photos appeared distorted and glitchy. Take a look. The man says he doesn't know why his photos appeared like that. Nothing like that had happened before, as it was a perfectly normal phone. Take a look at some more of his photos. Now this is just strange. Why do these people look like this? But then, as she finished her second to last song, she just walked off the stage and mysteriously ended the show, and nobody really knew why. She later stated that it was because her voice was giving out, and that's why she had to end the show early. But others speculate that something much more dark was going on. Online users began to speculate that in the photos we can see the people's true forms that we wouldn't be able to see with the naked eye. A lot of conspiracy theorists think that Hollywood and super famous people in general are secretly demonic. Specifically, a lot of people paint the music industry as demonic. And according to conspiracy theorists, some famous people allegedly sell their souls to gain the fame that they have. So what do you guys think? Is this somehow some sort of clever hoax, or is it all too real? The following capture comes from Sue Roberts on Facebook. She was on a tour of the infamous Missouri State Penitentiary when something unexplainable would occur. This old prison is known to be haunted, as many horrifying supernatural events have played out there. From phantom cries and disembodied voices to actual apparitions moving quickly throughout. 
But anyways, Sue and the rest of the tour made their way through the stairwells of the prison when she would ultimately snap this photo here. It appears normal, but let's dig deeper. Zooming in closer, a ghostly shadow hides behind. Because of how haunted the penitentiary supposedly is, it's not too surprising that something like this was caught on camera. It's believed by paranormal enthusiasts that sometimes phones and cameras can pick up supernatural entities that we can't see with the naked eye. We can't see them with our eyes, but sometimes technology can. That's what Sue and many others believe happened in this photo here. And diving deeper into the dark history of the building, according to Slapped Ham, way back when, 39 executions were done inside the prison in the gas chambers. Also, a serial killer by the name of Charles Ray Hatcher was held here. He killed 16 different people. Reportedly, he eventually killed himself inside of the prison in the year of 1984. So considering all of this, do you think this was a ghost that haunts the prison? Perhaps even the malevolent spirit of Charles Ray Hatcher himself? Alright, I think it's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, go ahead and smash the like button's mom. Let's aim for 2,000 likes for another one of these scary trail camera videos. And if you want to get to know me more, you want to see more of my spooky content, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Maxwell Fear, or you can go ahead and follow me on TikTok, Maximum Fear YT. And be sure to subscribe to the channel, because only 13% of you guys who watch my videos are subscribed. And be sure to hit that bell as well, so you don't miss when I upload. And also, feel free to check out the Maximum Fear special merchandise, it's in the description down below. Alright, I hope your fear was maximized. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.